token we've insert a block and have the ability to flip it on the fly right while inserting it so again i'm going to use the door for this example so my door is this one over here a dynamic block that we created on a past live stream but you can apply the technique with any block that you need to flip right while inserting okay so what i'm gonna do is make this dynamic block a block <laughs> so let me show you i'm gonna use the b shortcut to create a block and i'm gonna call this uh, door explode something like that because we're gonna need to explode this block in order for this technique to work so i'm gonna click ok um, it says uh, block already exists. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna just rename this explode and dash for now. So I'm gonna click OK and now I'm gonna specify my base point. The base point is very important, needs to be where the actual block base point was. So in my case for the door, I know my base point was over here. So I'm gonna click like so. As you can see, uh, the block editor opens and you can see that's where my base point was for this block all right so here we're gonna need a couple of things the first thing that we're gonna need is a, of course using our authoring palette right if you're not seeing it uh, let me close it it's over here on the ribbon authoring palette you can simply click on it to activate it so the first thing we're going to need is a parameter in this case the parameter is going to be the flip parameter right so following instructions as specify base point of reflection line so i want the middle so i'm going to type n2p and press enter i'm going to click this middle point and then this other point so that way i can move up and finally place again using the m2p i'm gonna place uh, or pick two points so over here will be one click and then over here will be the second one like so right so all i did is place my flip parameter but exactly in the middle of my block in this case a door but you might have another block an arrow block or anything that you need for your specific um field right um so after this of course we if you've been following our tutorials we know that an exclamation mark means uh, there is something missing to this parameter and the thing that is missing is an action so let's add that action and the action would be the flip of course so following instructions to select parameter i'm gonna select this parameter and then the objects would be all of them. So I'm gonna click everything and then press enter. All right, so let's quickly test this block before we keep adding um, more actions or parameters. So I'm gonna test my block and let's see what's going on over here. So look what happened when I flip this block now, right? So I'm gonna click and it actually flips, but we have a problem here because as you can see the base point is not flipping with my block and that will uh, cause problems when we insert our block right you can see the base point is stays on one direction and doesn't follow uh, the hinge side of my door so let's quickly fix that i'm gonna close the block editor and a way that we can fix this is by adding a parameter in this case would be the base point parameter so let's select that and following instructions the location would be of course on the base point of my actual block which is right here so now we need to somehow add this new base point to our flip action and the way we do it is selecting our flip action right clicking on it and say modify selection set 
then following our instructions on the command line make sure uh, the add option is selected and we can add our base point like so and then of course pressing enter so let's quickly test this block and let's see what happens now when we flip our block awesome our base point also flips with our door so it always keeps on the hinge side all right so let's see what are some of the final steps so we can close this blog editor now and save the changes of course now once we have our uh, door uh, in this case let's go to our blog uh, palette over here um, and let's find our block with the explode right is this one over here door explode in a dash as you can see that's how we named our block and let's see how we can use it before we have a comment on the chat and it's felicia hernandez says good morning lazy arquitecto bien con las transmisiones en vivo bendiciones good morning felicia uh, gracias por estar con nosotros. Um, for people who don't know, uh, Spanish is my first language. So yeah, so let's keep moving. Um, oops. Did we lose the... Okay, I think we're good. Okay, awesome. All right. Uh, thank you, Felicia, for being here with us. Let's keep moving. Let's wrap up this live stream and we will have some time to chat about AutoCAD or uh, to uh, give uh, listen to you on the comments. Right. So we did the first part, which was uh, adding these parameters and actions to any block or dynamic block that we have that we need to flip it while inserting it so the final steps are on the block palette uh, what we need to do of course this is our block right here door explode and a dash that's how we rename it so make sure uh, let's not confuse but it's this one so a couple of things that we need to do here for this to work is we need to check uh, the explode option over here. So if we check that. Uh, that's why we rename our block block ex dash explode, right? Make sure repeat placement is checked and also rotation. So those are the three things that we need to make sure are checked. And then finally, we need to open our properties palette. So I'm going to do that with the PR shortcut. And let's see how we can now make this work. So I'm going to use the block that we just created or explode dash and let's test this out. I'm going to click that. And once I come here, I can simply select this point, rotate it like so. And over here, I know my, I need the other uh, the flip option right in the other side as you can see it over here in this door that's not a problem I can go to my property palette change the flip option and that way I can quickly place my block like so awesome right so I will keep placing my door I don't need to cancel the insertion command at this point I can simply click add indoors like so and finally this other door over here of course i can click over here and if i don't have this um, flip i can go and flip my door again like so and flip it and place it quickly like that and i can cancel at this time all of my doors were quickly inserted and of course uh, you can see it's a little um, the wall is a little thicker that's not a problem i can select all of my doors and quickly change the um the size of my uh, let's see this is probably a six inches um wall so i can change the wall thickness to six inches right selecting all of them so i'm gonna select all of them and go and change 
wall thickness to 6 inches and you can see all of them are automatically updated and I could quickly insert my doors and flip it on the fly right so what do you think about this technique of inserting blocks and have the ability to flip them while inserting